that's scary. Tell me exactly what you were feeling while I was watching that film. Tension. Tension. Interesting perspective. What else? Yes, Bob. Panic. Panic. A little bit vague. Imprecise, if you like. I want a particular word. Particular word. Oh. Sheila. Anxiety? Oh, almost there, almost there. Almost there. Oh! Hanji! Fear. Yes! Fear! Intelligibly spelled F Y. Intrigued and fascinated by the phenomenon of fear. What makes men fear what they fear? What feeling produces the emotions of fear? Fear! Adrenaline pumping? Blood rushing? In the split of a moment when our hearts are in our mouths. Fear. What encapsulates our thoughts and sensations in the face of grave danger? Fear! Fear! What is fear? That's your assignment for the book. Class is fixed. But then, Angie, I want the entire class paid into. Each pair is to produce a six page paper to be submitted to me Friday morning. First thing. Class dismissed. Like the What's up? Why don't you go someplace? Yeah, I, I have an appointment with the HOD. HOD? Yeah. So I think I come along. No, I. I have you later. Sure? Yeah. Hey. What? Huh? That's rather strange. You mean attitude, eh? Sorry. No. He's seen the HOD. Eh, uh, so what's up? The HOD they on leave. You sure? Quite interesting. Yeah, I know. There it is. Um, Prof, I have finally settled on the thesis topic that I'm going to treat. But um, I don't know how interesting that would be. Psychology and madness. Psychology and madness. That's quite interesting. Quite interesting. Psychology and madness. <laughs> Psychology can never tell the truth about madness. Because madness is a truth of psychology. <laughs> the French philosopher Michel Foucault, 1926 to 1984. Oh, brilliant. My boy, 
You are learning very fast. That's great. Don't. Okay then. All right, I'll see you. I'm so grateful, bro. Interesting. Hi, John. Oh. Miss Evelyn Martins. I interrupt your lectures. And I think I have a very good definition for fear. Really? Fear is what I think and feel will become of your career in some few years to come. Mm. John, you're chasing shadows. You're chasing shadows. In fact, your colleagues even think you are... You got it? Because you're losing touch on reality. Why don't you let that one be my worry? Miss Evelyn Martins. That is the difference between people who end up on the highest pedestal of the academic world and those who live all their lives in the pages of a textbook. Well, you may be right about one thing. Sitting behind an ivory desk in an oval office is a dream I have never had the privilege to have. But there is one thing that is of utmost interest to me. That is making the greatest psychological discovery of all times to uncover and unravel the very mysterious nature of the being called man. Your father was one of the finest psychologists in this institution. Oh, with bash compliments. May he so rest in peace. But obsessed and driven into insanity, he died uncelebrated and unheralded. John, I don't want you to end the same way. My father struggled all his life to prove his theories were right. He failed because of people like you. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Fear. I was wondering if I could stop by a hostel later tonight so we can go over the papers together. I, I have a very interesting and psychoanalytical perspective on human variation, behavioral patterns. Angie, and Angie. The, the inordinate composition of temperaments which... Angie. Which automatically defines character disposition. Angie! Can we do this some other time, please? Fine, thank you. Um, uh, excuse me, Sheila, um, can I talk to you for a moment, please? What can I do for you, Ben? I... I, Would I'll, you get straight to the point? Fine. fine. Oh, gosh. I, I, I was wondering if we can. Um, if you can what, Ben? If um, we can. We can. If we can. Have it here. It's like the HOD is really busy. Somebody don't take it. Oh, my mama, wait to me. Oh, God, don't take it. I can turn your life around like a merry go round. The thing way I go to money never fit to do. But any time I try to talk to you, you don't get me. Are you? Listen, listen. Okay, okay, okay. Child. Sorry, sorry. We really didn't mean to tease you. Okay, sorry, bro. Sorry. Besides, if I had confided in your friends about your intentions, probably would have given you a piece of advice. That could have helped. 
Okay, okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry I didn't tell you my intention. I just wanted to do it on my own, that's it. Great! I bet you have. You guys don't know how I'm wishing to have that girl in my arms, man. Mm. I've done everything humanly possible. Rehearse lines, poems, even love quotations. But just when I set my eyes on it, everything just feels like that. Boom! I don't know. That get easy, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, when I see her, I can't talk. <laughs> listen, listen. Charlie, you for wake up. This be 2010. Man, this not be 1954 or something. Charlie, you need more than well constructed lines, poems, than the things you they talk. To woo a chick like that, man. Charlie, be serious. Pleasant surprise. I, I was just studying the effect of hormones and how they can influence the male social dispositions. Uh, I did not come to discuss the paper, okay? Oh, I see. I need you to do me a favor. Sakosa. Who's that? Uh, Sakosa. Uh, page. Yeah. It's an extinct language traditionally spoken by the original settlers of Central and South America. So that means you do anything for me, right? It means nothing goes for nothing. Ben, you know you have to go out on a date with me. Not again! She said this time. And why do you keep acting weird and scaring us? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, please, keep your apologies to yourself. Even with you, it's sheer hell. You talk to yourself. Hey, and Leslie, are your image in the mirror? I can barely have a decent sleep. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I... I just had a bad dream. I'm right behind you. I can't stay in this kind of thing. What is it, Jackie? It seems you have a burden in your heart. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. Try me. I can see dead people. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you and I know you're the course rep for Psycho 303, right? This is what I want you to do. When you're pairing people for the term group study, I want you to pay Shelly and I. And why would I want to do that? Because you owe me one. We had a deal, remember? You do what I want, I do what you want. I don't really get it. You don't get what? Life. Oh, life. Why is life so unfair? Hmm? Can't you see? No, I can't see. She doesn't love you. 
I do. Oh, you're, you're very smart, intelligent, and... Attractive. Oh, no, 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 no. You're caring. See, we are two different people from two different worlds. We can never be together. We're meant to be friends. Just friends. Fine. Fine? Fine? Yes. Hey, just friends. Yes, yes, friends, we are. Good. Yes, uh, enjoy your uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Ben. Hi, Sheila. How are you doing? I'm fine. Wow. Um, mm. I can see you're not alone. Oh, um, I'm alone. Mm. Yes, he's not alone. It's been a wonderful evening with Benny. Yep, I can imagine. Wow, what a beautiful mushroom heaven. Anyway, I'll allow you lovebirds to continue what you started, okay? What the hell was that all about? What the hell was that? It created the impression that we are. You know what, just eat your meal and get the fuck out. Hi, good morning, Sheila. Good morning, Ben. I hope you've been reliably informed that we are... Uh... We've been paired to do the term paper. Yes, I know. Great, then. Um, so when do we hook up? Hook up. Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't I check my phone for my schedule? Hmm. How about... In your dreams? Sucker. We really need to work on this paper together. Of course. I can see why. Come on, you saw that impression you got the other night. There was nothing. The impression I got the other day? Hello? You think I care who you're with or what you're doing? For Christ's sake, it's a free will. A man is a creature of free will. Put that in your head. Good. That's the more reason why we have to work together. Look, I might not be, like, fun to be with. But trust me, I'm the best hangout prospect you can ever think of. Except for the fact you're planning on carrying over, you have no other choice. Okay. Bye. 6 p.m. My place. Your place. The school canteen. Ow! I guess the school canteen will be a plea. Zip it, ugly Betty. Flush of pleasant emotions, but for the untold reason, waking up with an idea. Sir, I know what it is. You have finally, through a sequence of character evaluations and behavioral patterns, been able to predict months' perfect reactions to every situation. Angie, you give me so much pleasure and joy. Each time I hear you speak, your intelligence is extremely baffling and yet still very much commendable. But you see, sometimes you talk like a fool. I have 
have decided to cancel the assignment on the term paper. Yes, yes, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Instead, I am arranging a trip to the legendary Kimbala Forests. Kimbala yes, Forest. Kimbala Forests. There, we shall, in the quietness and isolation of nature, explore the emotions of loneliness and as well study man's ability to cope with the unexpected and unforeseen changes in his environment. You can't possibly give in to this. It's ridiculous. I don't see the need for it. Besides, the department can't fund this excursion. The department does not need to fund this excursion. Then who will? I'm leaving the students. You have no right whatsoever to do that. Not if the head of department gives me the permission to. Which you haven't gotten yet. Which I can give. You wouldn't like to do that, would you? And why? Because it's unreasonable. This is Martins. I'm of the opinion that education goes far beyond what takes place within the four walls of a classroom. An opinion I also hold. I can't believe you are buying this HOD. Madam, it totally falls in line with academic reasoning. And will form part of my research on the cardinal emotions of man. It still doesn't make sense. It does to me. Permission is granted. He likes you, you know. Who? Come on, Sheila. Are we supposed to believe you don't see it? <laughs> Wait a minute. Who exactly are you guys talking about here? Ben. Who's Ben? No, that says it all. You like him. Hell no! I... Oh, so you actually know the Ben you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Listen, okay? Well, just because he has a crush on me doesn't mean I like him. It does mean that you both might be getting together sometime. Well, let me make this clear to all of you here that I feel nothing whatsoever for Ben. So put that in your thick skulls, okay? Hi, girls. Ah, oh, hi. You got the devil. Yeah, I mean, it's a. Well, it's a pleasure to be the subject of a girl chit chat. Isn't it? We're just talking about how cultured it is for a man to walk into a woman's room uninvited. Well, I was in the neighborhood, I. Decided to pop in to see it. Well, next time, do me the favor of passing by without stopping. No, I, I can't do that. That'll be treason against my heart. Smart talk, not necessarily a sign of intelligence. Coming from you, I take it without a blink of an eyelid. How lovely. Now, can you please take your leave and give me the chance to have my siesta? No. No? What do you mean, no? I keep pestering you until you decide to go on one date with me. Excuse me? You heard me. One date. And I'll leave you to your peace. Dear. Oh no, dear. Fine. Deal. Good. Time in, please. Oh, don't worry. Just leave that to me. Okay. I'll see you girls. Have a nice day. Adios, senoritas. Keep your thoughts to yourself. Thank you. Mama, mon cherry, oh, je t'aime beaucoup. Come be my lover, mon cherry, oh, je t'aime. I'll fail, mama. Hello, beautiful. Oh, no, not you again. Go that way. Come on, don't talk like that. You have to learn how to enjoy my company, okay? We're going out on a date, remember? What? You gave me your word. Yes, I did, but I didn't think it would be in a forest during an excursion. Uh, time and place shouldn't be a problem. All I want you to do is to pretend you're enjoying the phone. Just stick with me to our discussion. And that'll be my date. Mm. Whatever. Fine. Uh, say that again, please. I said fine! Oh, stop shouting. As long as it will get you off my back. Oh. Oh. 
Good day, sir. Oh, yes, I can see you all excited about this field trip. And in your excitement, I want you all to comport yourselves in an extremely orderly manner. Do you understand? Yes, sir. But I want you all to remember that this exercise forms a fundamental 30% of your cumulative GP, which means you will have to take this exercise with much seriousness as possible. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. In a few minutes' time, we shall be boarding the bus. Excuse me. Uh -huh. yeah. How nice. Some people think this is some kind of picnic. That would be me, wouldn't it? Be nice. Remember, we're on a date. <laughs> Hello, hi. It's amazing the way you they be me, the way you walk and talk, you they freak me. But when I day your body, you they get me. Tell me what you're not gonna do so you see me. Hey, lady, oh, my sugar, my baby. Sir, mm -hmm. the solitude of this environment is a direct reflection of behavioral disparities. Exactly. Oh, Angie, you amaze me. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. Go. I should go there. Yeah. Kinsley, what is it? You look worried. This is not Kimbala Forest. Why oh, I know. I thought you said we were coming to Kimbala Forest. I know the myth of this forest. Myth? Interesting. My interest is to know how myth plays on the minds of my students. We cannot be here with the students. Evil! The word is evil. Evil begats fear. But, Prof, I... Shh. Are you challenging my intellectual ability? Remember, your master's degree depends on the outcome of this exercise. Okay, students. We are finally at it. We are now going to form a group of two. Team A and Team B. I will lead Team A. Kinsley here will lead Team B. While we tour the forests. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Now, there are six cardinal points around this forest marked with trees. Six trees of that kind. You can say it. Yes. Now I want you all to take your jotters and listen very closely. I want you all to make a list of everything that your eyes can see. Everything. And then, after a while, look for a suitable spot. Recline for a while and in the solitude of the environment let your hearts drift in thoughts and after a couple of minutes draft a detailed description of your thought process and how the environment affects your thought pattern. Is that clear? Yes, yes, sir. Or you want me to go over it? It's okay, sir. No, sir. Good. So, Team A, Team B, quickly. Two years of our work we're going to be doing. 
and you make your oh, um, God. shit what it did it will be nice it will be real fun i promise yes it will be it will be fun <laughs> Ah, excuse me. You don't follow me. Jackie? What's the matter? Are you alright? What is the matter? Didn't you join any of the group? of fear. Fear. Zone Tire Forests, West Africa. Case study Behavioral Evaluation of Man in Respect to His Environment, with particular emphasis on his response to danger and fear. Victims are now on tour of the forests. It's so much fun, isn't it? I am having so much fun. This is the best date I've had in the whole wide world. Thanks to me. Don't worry. Oh, yes. Thanks to you. I have to cope with the horror of your presence. Get lost. You dating that guy? Yes. And thanks to him, I haven't had dates around trees or hooting birds or flying monkeys. Do you love him? Isn't it obvious? I don't think you love him. Well, Ben. I don't care what you think. And what you think can't change anything about it. So mind your own goddamn business. You can't be sure about that. Eh? <laughs> Isn't nature wonderful? You see, I would rather be here than anywhere else in the whole world. Predominance in the alma mater are trees. Trees. Breathtaking vegetation. Crooked bats. Hooting birds. A natural habitat that sometimes sends a chill down your spine. Unspoken silence. That sometimes makes you feel you're out of the comfort zone. Reality stares at you in the face. Your brain processes the information. Your nerves tingle, wriggle. Makes you Rub your eyes and makes you crack your phalanges. I know 
to scream, but who screamed? Oh, Jesus! You scared the hell out of me, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Now, describe the feeling. Describe the feeling? Yes. What went through your mind before you screamed? Was it thoughts of death or life? I don't know. I guess I thought about death. Death? Now, run along. Go! And tell no one else. Victim number one admits having thoughts of death in the face of grave danger. <laughs> You saw what? You saw what? You saw what? Can't you talk? Victims two and three showing explicit signs of fright, <laughs> ultimately resulting. What on earth is happening here, sir? First of all, we were supposed to be in Kembala Forest, and now we found ourselves here. The school authorities do not even know we are here. And on top of it, you are compounding it with you scaring the student with a mask. What a hit is going on here, sir? Kingsley. I am on the brink of confirming my hypothesis on the behavioral pattern of man, Kinsley. I thought we were here on an educational trip. What is all these scary moments about? Yes, of course I know why we are here. But let me tell you, this whole idea of an excursion is total nonsense. This is me. There's nothing bigger than this. This is my life, my aim, my sole aim in life, my entire career. Are you suggesting all this is a ploy to aid with your research? How long is it going to take you to figure this out, Kinsley? This is about me. The whole thing is about me. Precipitated, dematerialized, wasted, dissolved. How? How? No. So where is the body? Where? Stop it.
lip. He's there. Where? No one should get close. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> All right. First things first, we find Sir John and report this incident. What's going on? You tell me. A student, Louis Boatin, just died and his body is rotten. What? Now, I want to know this. Is that also part of your research? You're shouting. Calm down. Hell no, I can't. We have a dead student on our hands and I cannot understand what this little game you call research is all about. Is there something you're not telling us? You ask him. There is nothing. Nothing to tell. Why can't I believe you? Do you have any part in this? Are you insinuating that I am the cause of his death? Are, are you? Tell us! We all ears. Look. I am still the leader of this group. Understand? Tragedy has just occurred. Emotions are running wild and hearts are left in misery. Man has transcended. Turn the camera off. What? I said turn the damn camera off! With all due respect, sir, turn the camera off. We just lost a friend, and this is no time for psychological evaluation. Especially when you scaring us with a mask! Me too with Nachati! Yes, it's true! I saw him! So how do we know you did not kill him? That's exactly my point. Prof. John is unfit to lead us. He is out of control. Yes, we try and reach out to the police to come and get us out of here ASAP. I have been trying to make a call, but no service. Is anybody on a different network? Um. No, no reception. Okay, reception. 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 No reception. There's no reception. There's no reception. There's no reception. The configuration and connectivity of the cellular network is being prohibited by our proximity to a zero transmission location. Meaning? Our phones can't work. All right. No. Okay, now. Calm down, everyone. Whatever happens, whether network or no network, we will get out of here. Clear? Stopping. I think we've passed through this part before. Exactly. You mean? Uh, the, the, the place looks familiar. We've, and we've been moving around in circles for the past one hour. Don't even think, think about, about it. Oh no. Don't tell me we are lost. Uh, 
first someone dies. Second, we can't make any phone call. Now third, we can't find our way to the bus. What are we going to do? Oh. Why don't we ask the one who is in control? Ask him. I'm no more in charge. Hell no. Something really weird is going on here. First I found the body. And then the three rushed back and we came out. Why don't we ask Jackie about it? Since she found the body first. Yes, Jackie. Yes. Yeah. Where is she? Oh. Interesting. So after all, someone found the body. Why then have you been accusing me of the killing? You were the one found scaring people with marks and machetes. And you were the one who found the body first. Now both of you speak up. I suspect Jackie. She sees things. Yes. She acts weird. I think it's Prof. John. Is it? Yes. It's you. Yes. No, it's not. No, it's Jackie. She once told me she sees dead people. Ah, oh, both of you have got some explanation to do here. Now Ah, madam, come and sit down. Madam, what's going on? It's past 6 p.m. and these guys are not back. I really don't like to say the words. I told you so. Madam, this is no time to trade blames. Then you write a report and state unequivocally that it was absolutely your own decision. Of course, I'll not shy away from taking responsibility for my decisions and actions. Exactly. And I hope you don't mind taking responsibility for your removal as H O D. she's going to. It's not safe here. The sun is overlooking the hills. It's not safe here. 